Happening today, President Biden is in France for the 80th anniversary of D-Day, and some of the last remaining World War II veterans are also in Normandy to reflect on their experience and to honor those who didn't make it home. Yeah, Eyewitness News reporter Marco Robles joining us live in studio with more. Mark. And a notable celebrity sighting there as well this morning. It has been a busy day for President Biden and the First Lady. They arrived in Normandy overnight. We do have some live pictures from the D-Day anniversary commemoration ceremony underway as we speak. The president there alongside other world World leaders. We've been waiting for him to speak. He is at the podium right now for just a moment. Let's listen in. All of you, God love you. Winston Churchill called what happened here, quote, the greatest, most complicated operation ever, end of quote. After years of planning, Operation Overlord was ready to launch just as soon as the weather turned across the choppy, choppy English Channel. And again, those comments are live right now from Normandy, France. We will share more of those comments during our next hour here on Eyewitness News. He is also participating in a wreath-laying ceremony as he honors the legacy of those World War II veterans who sacrificed their lives. Now, before taking the stage, Biden met with World War II veterans in attendance. It was 80 years ago today when their allied troops stormed the beaches of Normandy, a humbling example that freedom isn't free. 2,500 Americans were killed in that operation on June 6, 1944. The remaining survivors of that invasion now ranging between 96 and 107 years old. I've never seen as many dead men on the beaches as I've ever seen. You couldn't stop and help anybody because they kept hollering, get off the beach. Get off the beach and get set to go fire those guns. I'm a, I'm a here to. People say, what is a here to? I says, I'm here to tell you I'm not a hero. <laughs> it's those guys up there that gave their life so that I could make it through. Actor Tom Hanks and director Steven Spielberg also there nearly 30 years ago. They released Saving Private Riot based around the events of D-Day and the storming of Omaha Beach, where Biden will visit next during his schedule of events today. Biden describing the 1944 invasion as one of the most important moments in the history of defense of freedom and democracy, adding that democracy is literally on the ballot this year. He plans to leave Normandy later this morning, returning to Paris, where he will be honored by French President Emmanuel Macron. You saw them together just a moment ago in the video. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.